The Cubs need a win in Milwaukee and a Pirates loss at home against the Reds in order to host the wild card game on Wednesday. Let's join the action in the first inning. Chicago's all set up against Jorge Lopez with Anthony Rizzo at the plate and the base is loaded. Dustin, and there it is. Rizzo's going to knock in two. Ryan on his way to third. Anthony Rizzo with 101 RBIs. And it's 2 0. Shane Peterson with two on. Fly ball to left, deep, back goes to North. He's still going. That's over his head. It bounces over the wall. Ground rule double. Shane Peterson in opposite field. Ground rule double. Milwaukee is on the board as Segura scores. And now it's a three to one ball game. Fair ball, knocked down by Rizzo, and the flip to Heron in time to get Lind. Can you believe that? Yeah, boy, nice reaction by Castro. Got him. Strike three called, good fastball on the inside corner. Peterson caught looking. Davis drives one to deep center, back goes. Jackson at the wall makes the catch. We go to inning number seven. Cubs three, Milwaukee one. Well, Travis Wood going to try to finish this ball game. Off the end of the bat. And Bryant with a jump toss. Out at first. They started a big double play in the ball game yesterday. He's getting a standing ovation for this effort here in the top half of the ninth. Backhand. Airborne he goes and on the money. Cubs win. The postseason bound. Cubs win. They finish the regular season on an eight game winning streak. 97 and 65. And we're not done yet. That's what Joe Madden's telling his guys. What? A 2015 regular season. Heron fires six innings of one run ball, finishes the regular season at 11 and 9. Rizzo knocks in a pair, and for the first time in his career, he reaches 100 RBIs in a season. The Cubs will head to Pittsburgh on Wednesday night. They'll send Jake Arietta to the hill against Garrett Cole in the National League wildcard playoff game.